And it's called Siskill. Are you having a bad day? Did you drop your coffee and step in a puddle and get stuck in traffic and then realized you arrived at work wearing your slippers? Well, it sucks to be you, but to make you feel a bit better about your own misfortunes, we've gathered together some of the unluckiest chumps on the internet for you to laugh at. Don't say we never give you anything. From a man wrestling with a truck that is spewing some nasty brown liquid to an old man who has been attacked by his seatbelt, here are 20 people having a worse day than you. Number 20. A worker is sprayed with unknown liquid. There are a few things that are more alarming than suddenly finding oneself covered in an unknown substance. <laughs> I mean, getting soaked by a car splashing through a filthy puddle is bad enough, or a bird plopping on your head, or even when a car washes its windscreen beside you. But then there are the times when you cannot immediately determine what that substance might be. So here's a teeny weeny snippet of footage, which appears to be from Russia, and shows a man standing on top of a truck. He fiddles with a valve or something on top of the truck, and then suddenly, a whole jet of mysterious brown liquid sprays out in a vigorous geyser. The worker is no doubt somewhat surprised by this explosive fluid, and one can probably assume that his day just got a whole lot worse as a result. One can only hope that the brown stuff is not anything as gross as it looks, or indeed as toxic as it might be. Have you ever had a surprise interaction with a mystery liquid? How exactly did that go for you? Let's get things started in the comments section down below, shall we? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Car Stuck Call me an old cynic, but I'm going to hazard a guess here and say that Tanya getting stuck in the mud is possibly rather a staged situation in which the main purpose is to show Tanya doing a lot of maneuvers and a fair bit of bending over. I mean, why is the other person just filming the whole thing and not offering any sort of assistance? It really is rather a puzzle. Well, actually, it is completely clear what it's all about. Also, she's apparently doing all of the getting stuck in an old Lada Neva 4x4 whilst dressing for a distinctly different sort of setting. Now, you surely can't be telling me that this is how one dresses to drive a rubbish old car along an extremely muddy track even in Russia. Thigh-high boots probably have a time and a place. I can't personally imagine when or where a person would choose to wear them, but then what the heck do I know about such things? I sit around in my underpants all day. The heels on those things could be used as lethal weapons, and Tanya may wish to invest in a nice pair of Wellington boots if she's going to continue such forays into the countryside. Simply for practice practical purposes, I mean. If nothing else, she won't be forced to spend hours scrubbing the mud off of her unsuitable footwear. Number 18. Man kicks food in frustration after dropping it on porch stairs. With the widespread use of doorbell cameras and every other home security devices, our every move seems to be captured on film for everyone to see. Even something as mundane and, frankly, incredibly boring as this video. Here, we're watching a man returning from a fast food chain with his order when he trips on the steps of his porch. These things happen, and you know, they can happen to any of us at any time. I regularly fall on my ass and drop stuff all over the place. That's just how it goes. It's probably not worth losing your temper over, because that just makes you look kind of silly now, doesn't it? I mean, this guy, when he first trips, we're kind of there with him. We all know what it's like, and it sucks. But when he gets up and gets all mad about it and starts throwing stuff around, well, that's the point he looks like an idiot. Most of what he dropped was probably totally fine, until he hurled it in a rage across the front lawn and made the porch all sticky with his soda chucking outburst. Now nobody gets any dinner, He's still mad about it, and for some reason, it's also on the internet forever as well. Number 17. Langers Attack Milkman Monkeys are really such total jerks. 
Don't be fooled by these grinning, seemingly cute creatures. They're violent thugs, and they will steal your lunch money and probably beat you up just for the sheer fun of it. Here's a piece of footage in which we can see a man just trying to go about his business. We're told that he is the milkman. That may be his motorcycle that we can see there. Anyways, he is beset by a gang of Langer monkeys. Who knows exactly why they've decided to target this particular old guy. He's taking none of it, though. He waves a big stick at the circling simians, but they just keep on lunging at him and threatening whatever it is that monkeys threaten. These ones seem especially persistent and quite large as well, so they could be pretty dangerous if they actually got a hold of the man. Monkeys are not only annoying or thieves, they're actually kind of psychos too, and they could easily bite or rip off a limb or even a face if they felt like it, and who can tell what they might feel like? If a monkey bites you or even scratches you, then you're in for a potential pile of disgusting diseases as well. Such fun. Number 16. Thieves Pick Wrong House this footage shows a couple of apparent thieves caught on a security camera as they attempt to gain access to this building through a window. It does not go exactly according to plan. One of them clambers in the small space at the bottom of the window while the other stays outside. Perhaps he's a lookout, perhaps for some other reason. Who knows how all the nefarious tough works. Anyways, it's immediately apparent that something has happened inside when the lookout guy dashes across the frame and out of the shot. His colleague can be seen attempting a hasty exit through that same window by which he had entered, but something is pulling him back and his escape is hampered by whatever is inside. Is it a dog? Is it a human that's hanging on to this kid's trousers with such force? Anyways, in the end, he loses his pants and then legs it away from the scene. But what do you think about it all? Is it really hilarious? Tell me about all your reactions in the comments section down below. Number 15. Turkish Guy Smashes His TV well, I don't know, but there are an awful lot of people in today's videos who are really showing their worst aspects of their personality. Had placed a hidden camera in the room so that she could play a prank on him. Now, this guy just wanted to watch the first game in the Euro 2016 competition between his team Turkey and Croatia. His girlfriend, for whatever reason, decided that she would use this as the perfect opportunity to mess with him so that she could upload it to the internet. She has an app on her phone so that she can switch the TV on and off without being in the room. As the game goes on, she does this over and over again, and the guy is getting more and more frustrated. But his reaction is equally just as much garbage as the prank is. He loses his temper and then starts chucking things around the living room. He's making more and more of a mess until ultimately he takes his annoyances out on the television itself. Well, that showed it. That TV is so sorry for upsetting him now. I mean, seriously, why do a prank like this? And why react act like such a jerk. All of these people. Oh, and Turkey ended up losing the match anyways. Number 14. Wild Bull Attacks Two Riders in Gujarat in India, the cow is considered a sacred animal. For this reason, there are a whole lot of cows just left to freely wander the streets all across the country. And in fact, there are believed to be nearly 6 million of them wandering around in India. Many of these cows end up in urban areas, causing all kinds of mischief on the streets. Most are pretty benign and just cause some traffic jams and poo-based problems. But every once in a while, one of these divine creatures goes rogue and then turns to the dark side. This video from a street camera in Gujarat's Rajkot shows a cow that's embracing the thug life and has got a beef <laughs> with all the people who dare to venture into its territory. First, it can be seen knocking an old man off his bicycle and then almost impaling him with a very dangerous looking pointy horn. Then a few moments later, a motorcyclist comes down the street and is assaulted by the big bad bovine. Number 13. Angry Swan Attacks Hapless Wake Surfer in the UK, most people have heard that swans can be pretty feisty and have been known to break arms when they are particularly cross. The swan, though, is even more dangerous than its proclivity towards limb snapping would suggest. This bird actually has a murderous streak. Mute swans are famously the property of the queen, although if they do belong to her, how come she isn't a more responsible owner? Well, it's probably because she's 
These crazed birds have been marauding around the countryside, starting fights and breaking bones for crying out loud. This big bird is not shy when it comes to protecting its nest and defending its territory. In fights between male swans, it's common for the aggressor to actually push the other swan under the water. They're also very hungry birds, and they need a lot of food to keep them going, gorging on vegetation and preying upon animals like fish, frogs, and their spawn, mollusks and insects. Swans are actually responsible for displacing other native species, and their greedy feeding can actually damage habitats from overconsumption of vegetation. And here's another way that a swan might make a nuisance of itself. This guy was just out doing a spot of wake surfing on Lake Austin in Texas when this bird just attacked him, and it really had to go out of its way to express its displeasure. These furious swans are the original angry birds. Number 12. Man Loses Temper With Printer I do have a question for this one. Why is there a camera pointed all at these people in their place of work? Could it just possibly be staged? Now oh, I know it's a crazy thing to suggest that we shouldn't believe everything we see on the internet, but maybe, just maybe, this guy is doing some sort of kind of unfunny comedy sketch where he gets all mad at a piece of office equipment, so he gets another piece of office equipment to show it who's boss or whatever. I'm tired of this garbage. If this is real, then this guy's just a total jerk. And if it's fake, then it could at least have tried a bit harder to either be funny or even make any kind of sense or, well, anything. This is about my limit with watching people with severe anger issues showing off on the internet. Number 11. Woman gets dragged by her dog after she tried to take him on a walk. Yep, that's about it. Sums it up, moving on. I'm just kidding, of course, because I get paid to run my mouth a lot more than that. This woman has taken her big dog outside on a lead for a walk, but that dog has other ideas and is pretty excited to be going out. He thinks he's taking her for a walk. <laughs> As the dog dashes off, he pulls the lady over and drags her along the rotunda for a moment. And then she manages to get upright again and tells that bad dog off, marches him straight back to the house. This lady is not taking any nonsense from anybody, which includes a big bad dog. She then continues to grumble and gripe about the dog for an additional minute or so, and meanwhile, an unknown person continues to film the entire silly situation. Just who the camera person is, or indeed why they did not go to the lady's assistance when she fell down, well, who can possibly say? Some people will do anything for all of that sweet, sweet internet-y clicks now, won't they? Number 10. Man jumps off cliff and lands next to great white shark. Here is a guy who actually does seem to be having a bad day. Probably worse than yours in all honesty. Or it could have been. Look before you leap, that's very basic stuff. Come on now, you can do it. If you're a thrill-seeking, cliff-jumping lunatic, then you are already fairly immune to the regular human's fears about personal safety, or, you know, the integrity of your limbs. So perhaps the notion of jumping into the water that may or may not contain deadly predators is not all that alarming to you. But perhaps you should still give the area a cursory glance beforehand anyways. You know, just in case. This guy did not, however, and he very nearly did not live to regret it either. The footage from his head cam shows his plunge into the water, followed by a sudden and somewhat surprising realization that he is sharing his immediate space with none other than a flipping great white shark. Oh, such fun. We've actually never known such excitement. Number 9. Woman Falls Through Restaurant Ceiling Here is Sabrosa Mexican Grill in Orange County, California. They like to keep their customers on their toes. This is the crazy footage of a young woman falling through the ceiling of the restaurant and onto the floor, an everyday and normal occurrence. Not only was this a scary moment for the woman and the customers, it was also completely weird. What exactly was a person doing in the crawl space above this restaurant in the first place? I mean, it really does make very little sense. The explanation that would then be given is completely bizarre. The restaurant staff said that she had come in earlier in the day and had asked to use the restroom and also had requested directions to the bus stop. They said that she had been in the bathroom for ages, but you know, it's rude to think about those kind of things, so they hadn't thought any more about it. 
That was until they saw footprints moving across the ceiling tiles above the restaurant, and the ceiling began to sag dramatically. She then suddenly fell right through the panels, dropping more than 25 feet to the tile below. She was lucky to escape with only minor injuries, and nobody else would be hurt, and apparently she had gained access to the ceiling by climbing on the toilet and then into the attic through a hatch in the bathroom. She had, according to some reports, been looking for the bus stop because someone had told her that that bus stop was up and to the right. Okay then. Number 8. Hilarious fail as man jumps into frozen swimming pool. Now, this looks extremely painful, even if everyone does seem to be laughing. This guy has decided that he's going to jump into a frozen swimming pool in his underpants, as one does. And what happens next was probably predictable, but it did not seem to have been in Pants Man's mind when he took that run up and bombed into the pool. I would imagine that he was planning on smashing straight through that ice, which is actually a terrible idea, you know. People drown doing dumb stuff like that when they get trapped underneath the ice. And it's called Siskiyou. Anyways, he does not in fact break the ice, not even one little bit. He simply bounces and it looks extremely painful. The guy is going to have some bad back problems after this, even if he is smiling at his own stupidity in the moment. Does watching this make your bones hurt? Did you ever do anything that did not go as planned like this? Go ahead and tell me all about it down below. Number 7. Birthday boy leaps headfirst through glass panel into swimming pool. Well, this one looks like it was a bit of a disaster, and possibly even resulted in a head trauma. So that's a lot less funny, and much more upsetting, really. Apparently, this guy was celebrating his friend's 30th birthday when he was evidently overwhelmed by a sudden and impassioned urge to fling himself headfirst out of an up-high window and into the swimming pool down below. The trouble was that there was a rather inconveniently positioned glass panel between his place and the pool. Ouch! Now, this drunken part party goer was lucky to get away without severe head damage, or worse, he could have missed the pool completely and hit the ground head first. <laughs> But he did receive some fairly unpleasant injuries, which included torn ligaments and a bruised chest. He has since had to undergo repeated surgeries to repair the ligaments in his injured hands. Interestingly, the owners of the cottage that the party had rented for the occasion, and kind of trashed, to be honest, could not claim the cost of the damage back from the damaged doers. Apparently, they managed to weasel out of it as the contract was not drawn up properly. So that's just smashing now, isn't it? Number 6. Girl drops new iPhone while unboxing. Well, this is actually pretty sad. We're watching a young girl, likely on her birthday, receiving an iPhone, and she's so, so, so excited about it. But the trouble is that within her excitement, she shakes open the box, and yes, it plops straight out onto the hard surface of the table, and I'm guessing it smashes because she's really upset about it. This is a roller coaster of emotions from sheer delight to absolute woe in a matter of about two seconds. What I would like to know, however, is why the actual heck any parent would upload this particular video to the internet. Not only does it seem cruel and unusual, but why would you want to share your child's sadness and embarrassment like this. Actually, this video really, really sucks. Number 5. Toddlers turn living room white with flour. I don't know. You turn your back for two seconds? But isn't it completely incredible to see what a couple of toddlers can achieve in that time? Even though their mother's reaction seems to be total horror, it's hard not to see the funny side of this one. These two little kids have managed to get their hands on a bag of flour, and the havoc that they've caused is on a completely different level. I've never seen such a thorough job done, to be honest. It's hard to believe that one bag of flour and two preschoolers could even manage such an epically thorough coating of every surface. I mean, it is on every single thing in that room, and they're having so much fun doing it. I know that this mother is just stunned by the mess. She says it looks like a snowman threw up in her living room. And yes, it looks like she probably has stuff like this going on a lot, but it'll be just fine. At least it's not something sticky. Number 4. Running Man Breaks Glass Door at Shopping Mall 
Ouch! I feel kind of bad for this guy. He seemed like he was having so much fun before that pesky and extremely rude pane of glass left out in front of him to sabotage his moves. Now, perhaps this chap was just especially happy that he was finally leaving the mall. I know I would be. We all know that feeling, don't we? I myself have definitely suffered from that deep sense of relief to escape the confines of the shopping mall after suffering from bouts of mall fatigue interspersed with mall rage. And that's just after the first two seconds that I enter the place. Maybe he was happy to be done with the tedium that is shopping at the mall. Or perhaps he was just loving life and expressing himself through the medium of skipping. That's what grown men do. Either way, it hardly seems fair that his joy was interrupted like that by a horrid hard pane of glass smacking him unceremoniously in the face before swinging open and smashing all over the show. I suppose this means they either keep their glass so shiny clean here that it's invisible to the naked eye, or the man assumed that it was an automatic door. Either way, his embarrassing moment ended up on the internet for everyone to see. This does make me wonder though, which of the dopey things I've done that may have been caught on camera and uploaded by an unscrupulous security guard? It doesn't bear thinking about now, does it? Number 3. Man Gets Stuck in Seatbelt Here we have a man named Clint who has gotten himself into a spot of bother with a seatbelt. We've all been there. Just how he's got into this pickle is not quite clear, but the more that he has tried to get out, the tighter the seatbelt has made itself. You know how they do, for safety and all that. He seems to have gotten the wrong bit of the belt over his body, and then it's become trapped by his belly, all of which is making his family laugh hysterically at his predicament. Although he does start off with a bit of chuckling at his silly situation, he does seem to be getting more and more more mad about it. As his family tries to help, it just seems to be getting worse. They're clearly beginning to contemplate calling the fire department because he's talking about cutting the belt off. Things are getting even more absurd by the minute, and the funniest moment is probably when they say to him, It's not the seatbelt, it's your body. It's your body. It's not my body. You gotta get your arm. And then, just to add insult to injury, they uploaded it to the internet where literally millions of people have watched his stuck situation and laughed at him together. The reports say that his family was able to free him, but the video stops before we can see that. Perhaps he simply just lives in the car now. Number 2. Truck Gets Stuck in Sydney Tunnel Truck drivers in Sydney are apparently causing all kinds of shenanigans by not following the rules and trying to squeeze their oversized vehicles through height-restricted areas. The thing is, though, that most of these drivers are under enormous pressure to achieve very tight time schedules or else they're likely to be penalized for not delivering on time. The pressure on deliveries is enormous, and the drivers who are put in this position are often cutting corners to meet these impossible deadlines. As a result, it seems as though there's a bit of a problem with big fat trucks squeezing into teeny low tunnels in Australia and making all of the official road people get all sweaty and cross on the television. It does create rather a lot of mess and apparently makes a very expensive bill for all the tidying up afterwards. They say that the damages to these tunnels in Sydney are costing millions of dollars and then they have to shut the tunnel down which closes the road and makes everyone really really cross and then late for absolutely everything. So now everybody is having a bad day. Number 1. Man continues watching television even after roof collapses on him. This guy might seem pretty laid back, all things considered. Again though, I'm really not entirely sure why he's being filmed watching television. Seems kind of super weird to me. Or is this some newfangled thing that everyone is doing these days? That you do all the live long day, just in case something happens that may be uploadable for all the clicky clicky internet -y likes and subscribes? I mean really, tell me, because I'm both fascinated and incredibly disturbed by you all. This guy was watching a bit of news on the television with his dog, when suddenly the ceiling directly above him crashes down on top of him. The dog, it would appear, sensed that it was happening just in time to jump well clear of the falling debris. The guy, unhurt by the mess of junk falling on him, seems to take a minute before getting out of the chair, dusting himself off. The news reporters seem to take it as being an indicator of how relaxed he is. You know, junk like this just happens to him every day, or whatever. But I don't know, sometimes when something really unexpected or gross or shocking happens, it can take you a second to gather your 
yourself and then move now can't it? You know, like if you fall in a massive muddy puddle, or someone pukes on you all up in your beard, or I don't know, a massive heap of rubble falls on your head. Sometimes you just don't know what's happening for a second, so you do absolutely nothing at all. But hey, then again, what do I know? Well, that's all for the really bad day stuff, for today at least. I hope that you've had a much better day than some of these unlucky people. However, if you haven't, go ahead and have a jolly good moan about it in the comments down below. Just let it all out, because we're all here for you. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff that is showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.